I am so sorry. This was so close, Cindy. Cindy, do you have anybody here with you? Yes, I do. Who's with you? My husband and two sons. Where's your, would your husband like to fire this cannon? Would that seem appropriate? Come here, husband. Come on down. Where is he? Come here. Right here. I'll tell you what. What's your husband's name? Hi. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. You know what? A real chivalrous thing might be to do, as much as your wife doesn't want to take this, would you like to stand in place of your wife and take the cannon, or do you want her to take it? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll fire it. He's going to fire the cannon. Oh! Oh, have you got a long ride home tonight, buddy? I would have never done that. Oh, is he in trouble, ladies? Oh, he's in trouble. You got the goggles on. We gave you an option for your husband to stand. He said no. Anything you'd like to say to your husband now, Cindy? Not a word. Ah, ha, ha. Audience on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Come on in here. Stay right here, dear. Come on in here, our winners. Mary Jane, Ellen Barbara, this is Cindy. Come on in. Congratulations. You were a terrific sport. Our winner, once again, right there. We hope you had fun with this all-audience show. We'll see you next time here on the Family Chance. Bye-bye. Realize your, your wife has this coming. Yeah. There is a cannon full of cream here that will fire that at short range right into your wife's face here. I will give you the option, though, being the man you are, being the gentleman you are, a man of chivalry, I will give you the option of trading places with your wife, let you take the cannon, or I will let you fire it. It is up to you. What would you like to do? I'll fire it. He wants to fire it! Oh, my gosh. You heard me. I gave him an option. He declined. He wants to fire this cannon at you. Anything you'd like to say to your husband? <laughs> it's not over till it's over. Ah! Well, this much we know. On the count of three, you push the trigger. Audience, help me. One, two, three. <laughs> Come here. How'd that feel? Um, good. Yeah, and this is the man that did it. Turn around and wave to the camera. There, you did it. You got to be proud of that. Let's bring in our other super moms. Come in here, super. Oh, I'd love to do that. All right, all right, all right. Oh, what's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Now, you're going to fire this cannon off at mom. Does that give you any pause for concern? Are you worried about that? No. no because you, you can't wait to what? Pie her. Pie her, yeah, all right. Now, here's the handle. Now, don't push it yet. When I say go, it's right on top of that button. Any final words to your beautiful, lovely daughter? <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. <laughs> Audience, on the count of three, when you hear three, you push the button. One, two, three. <laughs> Take a look. Step aside here. Look at this lovely little police outline. <laughs> How about giving mom a hug? Oh, baby. Thank you so much, Tino. Thank you. How about a round of applause for all of our moms? Well, you get to stand here. First of all, you have one back here. You have one, uh, the uh, yeah, TV VCR, so you'll enjoy that. I need you to step aside, of course. Now, we will... Uh, put goggles on you because uh, this has a little bit of force coming out. Of it. Uh, uh, are you here with anybody? My daughter. Your daughter. Do you think she'd love to pull the trigger that fires it right into mom? Bring your daughter down. Where's your daughter? Would you mind? Oh, hi, dear. How are you? Say hi to Uncle Mikey. What's your name? Nikki. Nikki. All right. Nikki, I'm going to give you the option of firing this right into your mom. Now, from me to you, you know, you're not going to get in trouble. It's okay. All right. Is there anything maybe over the years, how old are you, 10, 11? 12. You're 12. Anything over those 12 years that really made you upset about mom and you'd say, man, someday I'd like to get even? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, turn this this way. Well, today's the day. Today's when you get a chance to really get even. And yesterday when we did this, the wall fell over. He's <laughs> really strong. So, you know, we fixed it so, you know, we'd do it again. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Anything you'd like to say to your daughter? You know, 12 years, a loving mother, anything you'd like to say to her? Be gentle. Be gentle. I'm afraid it's out of her hands. Audience, on the count of three, she'll start to fire. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come here. Come here. She did this to you. She did it. Did that surprise you? Yes. <laughs> but it tastes pretty good. It's wonderful. All right. 
You are a terrific sport for playing along. How about a round of applause for all of our moms? And our winner. Thank you. That's it. See you next time on the Family Challenge. Bye-bye, everybody! Come on, kids! All three of you! Off we go! Be careful. It's a little slippery here. Be careful. Okay? It's a little slick there. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Well, now, look, I'm not going to be the one to push that pie cannon. That seems so unfair. Hey, wait a minute. Is your sister here? Is she with you? Yeah. Oh, your sister. Wouldn't you love to launch that into your brother's face? Where is your sister? Here she... Oh, she can't wait. <laughs> How are you? You've been waiting this forever, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Now, are they huddled in close enough? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Here's the plunger. Don't push it yet. We'll count you down. Is everybody set? Yes, go ahead. Can he be in the middle? Yeah, oh, did you hear that? She goes, can he be in the middle? Yeah, we can put him in the middle. Wait, she wants her brother in the middle. That way, with this full impact. Hold on. There you go. Should we just put your brother directly in the cannon? Can we do that? Hold on. Come here. Okay, now, kids... Scoot him where? Center him up. Okay. There you go. Now, I'll tell you, this is not going to hurt. Okay, so just have some fun, and it'll probably taste pretty good. All right? All right. Ready to nail your brother? Count me down, folks, on the count of three. One, two, three. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. Way to go! Welcome back. Just checking out the pie cannon. Oh, we love the pie cannon. It has something to do with this game coming up. Um, our families are backstage getting ready for their next challenge, which gives me a moment to come out and play with the audience here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I don't know, as I stand here in front of the pie cannon, I don't know who I'm going to pick, but I'll throw this out to you. I simply need someone, a gentleman at this point, who's a real good cheerleader, someone who's a motivator. So as I come into this crowd, I need to know if there is anybody out here that's a motivator. You can tell me, show of hands, scream, holler, whatever it is. I need to know where. Yeah? This dad here. All right, this is the only adult I know. This gentleman, come here. This is the gentleman that has the word dad written across his... He's the only one who kind of put his hand up. Stand right here. Oh. You gotta say this T-shirt. This is a great t-shirt. The t-shirt says, First National Bank of Dad, and a little sign that says, Sorry, Closed. So you're tired of giving money to the kids. Right. Yeah. What's your name? Vince. Vince, where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. What do you do in Chicago? An accountant. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how this game works into it, because you're going you're gonna to love seeing this other side of uh, Vince. Um, when you're at a football game or a baseball game, and that wave goes across the stadium, would you stand up and participate in that? Sure. You're like a team player, aren't you? Yeah, always. Yeah, and sometimes when you're, sometimes you're with a group of people, you're probably the one to motivate them. Yeah. I, go, go, go. That's what I'm saying, Vince. Go, go, go. Right. Yeah. I think we got the perfect guy here. Man. Now, what I need you to do for this, um, challenge is I need you to motivate an audience. I need you to vote, motivate our audience, and I need to put you in a little team costume. Are you up for that? Sure. Uh, that's what I thought you would say. All right. Uh, please, would you bring out his team costume? This is what I'm so excited about. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Just finish that up. Just slip that over your head. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you out into Universal Park. There's a little table set out in front of our theater. And we have a wardrobe table set up there with three more uniforms just like that. What I need you to do is find three people, tell them we're going to put them in a little uniform like this, and stand them in front of the pie cannon and, and do a cheer. Okay. So you, Again, you have to tell them there's a pie cannon involved, and you have to get them dressed in this outfit. I'll tell them first they're going to be on TV. That'll probably get them in line right away. That's a good pitch, Vince. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you can do this, I got a great prize for you. Okay. Now, if you can't do it, if you can't find three people... I to... get five. That's what I'm saying, Vince. Right. So I got to do it. Vince, what I'm saying is if you don't get three other people, you stand there and you have to cheer and take a pie in your own kisser. Okay, I'll do it. Stay away. Say right again. Right. I like the way he says that. Yeah. All right, turn around. You get 90 seconds. 
That table with all the outfits are right outside the theater, okay? okay. Why don't you go now? <laughs> 90 seconds. Oh, man. I hope he doesn't get anybody, because I want to see him get pied. So he's got to tell him. So he's got to tell these people. First he said he's going to say, hey, you're going to be on TV. Then he's got to convince them to get in the outfit. And then he's got to tell them they're going to be, it looks like a little frenzy. That would scare me if a guy like that came at me with a blonde wig going, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right. He's like Jerry Lewis on amphetamines. Yeah, right. 45 seconds, he's halfway there. Oh, look what he pulled. He pulled Sasquatch out of the audience. Look at this guy. Look at this thing. What's he, how's he going to get over that? This is the Empire State Building he's putting that on. How many more seconds? Oh, my, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's a good looking, that's... Faster, faster. Now, you know, we gave him 90 seconds, but even if it's close, we got to give it to this guy. I want to see these people get pied. He's got, hey, you got 15 seconds, Vince. You gotta move on. Let's go. All right, when they come running up, give them a big old cheer. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Give them a round of applause. Here they come. Oh, man. <laughs> come on down. Do it. You know what? The, the clock ran out at the bottom of the steps, but that's close enough because I think they earned it. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Yay. So, so we got a nice prize for you. That's a given. Yeah, so let me stand you over to the side, and I want to meet the people you pulled out. What's your name? Randall. Randall. <laughs> Randall. Tough night for you, Randall. Randall, where are you from? Wyoming. Wyoming. What'd you think when this guy came yelling at you going, yeah, yeah? I wasn't really sure what to think. Yeah. Did he tell you that uh, there's a pie involved? No, he skipped that part. Did you not say there was a pie involved? I said, help me or I'll get pied, I think. That's close enough. Okay, and you are? Ron Baker. Ron, no, honestly, Ron, not a bad-looking woman. Ron, where are you from? Uh, from California. Hey, what do you do there? Uh, mechanic. Thank you for helping us out and, and bringing up the rear here. So, Oh, a lovely redhead. Hi, what's your name? Neil. Neil, where are you from? California. Okay, California. Now, I need you three just to stand right here in front of the pie cannon. Get nice and tight, nice and close, right in there. Oh, that's sweet. Now, we got a little cheer we need you to help us out with. Under your skirt. Now, move up a little bit. I want to make sure things are labeled right. Hold on just a second. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. And let me see what we got here. This is, uh, uh, me. Uh, yeah, you yeah, switch that around. There you go. I need you to switch. I can't believe I just did that. All right, so now we got you lined up. <laughs> There's a career low for you. Here you go. Now, on the, on the back side of your skirts, we have a letter. Those letters spell out the word pi. So you have a P, you have an I, you have an E. Are you with me on that? Okay. What I need you to do, Vince, is I need you to lead this cheer. I need you to say, hey, give me a P. And when you hear, give me a P, you need to turn around and show that you have a P there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it. And then I need you to say, hey, give me a I. Yeah, and then on, when you hear that, you'll turn around and, yeah, and okay, and then so on until you get to the E. All right. <laughs> Are you set? I'm ready. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Give me a P. Three. You are, without a doubt, in the length of time I've done this, the most charming, most infectious, one of the funniest people I've ever met. We have, not because you're that, but because you completed your challenge, a great watch, an Armatron watch that is yours. Thank you very much. You're certainly welcome. And Family Challenge t-shirts for you guys for being such great sports. Thanks for playing. We gotta take a break. We'll be right back.